Maker on right now. Did you pee pee in the bed? No. No? Let me see. Oh, nice. So nice. Oh, you tucked all your animals underneath the pillows? You silly rabbit. Animal? Did you sleep good, mister? Mm -hmm. We'll go see mama. You want to go see mama? Let's go see mama. No. This is my favorite view in the morning when he wakes up. He has this like freshly made baby look. You can grab your animals and go see mama? No, I need a cat. Where is the cat? It's there. Oh, you have the cat? You the have everybody? No, 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 the turtle. You have a strawberry in there? Yeah, a turtle. Where's your turtle? Is it here? Yes. There it is. Oh, it's warm in here. You have too many animals. What about Birdie Quack Quack? You're dropping them. There you go. There you go. Okay, let's go see Mama. Come on. Let's go. Let's go see Mama. Go this way to the left. Mama's working. Go, go, go. Come on. Good morning, Funny. This one. Yeah, open it. And I have animals. You open it. You open it. I don't know a single word he said. PJs are the comfiest clothes in the world. PJs are the comfiest clothes in the world. PJs, PJs, P E E E E E J's. She's not amused. Don't. Don't do that. PJs are the comfiest clothes in the world. PJs are the comfiest clothes in the world. <laughs> Get all that dookie. What up, guys? At the office now. And today is a very special day because this is probably the last time you guys will see this current JK and Barba Brigade office. We've been here for five years. Time flies, I know, but the lease is up. So now it is time for us to get a new space and to consolidate everything that we have. So if you guys hear all kinds of noise, you're like, what's all that noise that's going on? It's demolition. So we're in the Barlow Brigade space, as you guys can see. But if we go out here, we already removed all of our storage from here. That whole platform, all that stuff is gone. And if you go this way, still got David Soles go on there. But you'll hear all kinds of noise happening. Got demolition of that window knocked out already. This wall's knocked out already. The shower is being knocked out over here. It's all the trash over here. That's all gone. Um, we already moved out our poker table. The one that we literally used like twice. All of this is banged out. This is the side that you guys don't usually see as much. This is our editor's room, as well as our psych wall. Our psych wall is just pretty much like an infinity wall where we shoot all of our Barber Brigade product shots. That's all gone, so this used to be a wall right here. All of that is banged out. That psych wall over there, that was all completely taken down. You've seen tons of videos of me talking about like old clothes or old launches on a super curved wall. See that? That's the curved bottom where it looks like when you look at it from a certain angle, you can't tell how deep it is. And then this entire area was what we called the Just Kidding Party green room, where we used to always like rest and eat in between JK Party takes. And we're knocking all of this stuff down. We have old JK Party props still out here, still like this. Basketball court on the Barbell Brigade side, straight up walls, but just all this 
knocked down, taken down. And when you guys are following, you guys know that we stopped the Just Kidding Party channel, remember? Because our bandwidth was just too spread thin. So that was out here, but we leased it to this new company and they're doing very well. But if you look in there, remember those are the two showers that we built and there's this uh, this one JK party video where porn sriracha all of ourselves and the sriracha went down to my balls and it was burning. Thank God we had those showers built so I was able to be safe. But this is gonna be pretty much the last time you guys see all this. This rubble, this wonderful tree that we had, that fridge is gone, our drink fridge, that clear fridge, that's also gone. We still have our fan art, which we're for sure gonna keep. Keep that intact but yeah this is the last walkthrough of our office you can tell joe's room's gone remember his japanese tea garden that's where we was installed and that's pretty much gone over there casey moved out most of his stuff that's michael is working out of that office to kind of like coordinate everything we still have our podcast so what we're gonna do is with the podcast room um, we're looking to get another space for barbell brigade and we'll just use one corner of it to do the podcast i haven't even had a chance to touch any of this to be honest we've just been so busy focusing on uh nailing the barbell brigade black friday launch that i haven't even been able to come in here but as soon as we finalize the lease for our new place we will start moving all of this stuff over here but lots of memories all these post-it notes these were notes for the movie we were writing. And it's crazy, but you know, like as life goes on and as life changes, the weather changes, the circumstances changes, life is all about change. And we're just evolving with the change. And we had a wonderful, wonderful five years here, but now it's time to have an awesome time somewhere else. So I can't wait to show you guys the new office. So stay tuned for that and who knows maybe we'll have a brand new office in la and in vegas you know life's all about changes and i love seeing what the future holds but yeah i'm just checking back in at the office right now to see that everything is going good so we stick to schedule because you know how landlords are if you ain't out and you don't pay rent oh you're gonna be in trouble bj's what is this? You got catering? Why are those portions so big? Because I got a family pack. Oh, cuny. Oh, that's cuny. That's yeah. why you lucked out. Because you said you were coming home at 1 or 2. Yeah. So I had already ordered lunch right after I got that tux. And for some reason, I'm like, oh, let me just get the family pack. Did you get a family pizookie? No. And then, um. How they dare can't you? They can see your face. And then, um. I was going like this. Yeah. And then, um. Yeah, and then like a few minutes later, you're like, hey, I'm actually coming home sooner. And I'm like, oh, you got lucky. Why did I get lucky? Because you got food. Oh, candy. What did you get? What's that, spaghetti? Mm hmm Taka ate already? <gasps> Whose uh, soup is that? French. Oh, damn it. It looked like clam chowder. I was like, mmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to eat it. But I'll eat that pizza. Can I eat this? This is this? Mm-hmm. You can eat anything. It's all yours. Don't act like a freaking. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious? Come, go, go. Come on, mom. No, no, no. Don't. Don't. Please. <laughs> okay, fine. You know what's pretty crazy is these days when I finish work in my room, I just, just turned off my computer, it's dark outside now. It's not that I'm finishing late. I've tried to finish around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, so I spend time with family. But now that daylight savings time is over, it's completely dark. And I'm like, oh, man. But the cool thing is um, I actually do miss it. You know, like during the summer, when we have so many hours of daylight, like sometimes I remember it'd be 8 p.m. and it was still bright outside and the sun would come out at 5. What is that? 5 to 12, that's like 7. Almost like 15, 16 hours of sunlight and it's so bright and you're like, oh, this feels so good. 
And then you kind of do miss the darkness. I miss the cuddling, the snuggling, the, the coziness. And so when it starts to get dark now, I really, really enjoy it. But I do know we have fans in all over places like Northern Hemisphere, um, places like London, Alaska, where in the summer you might get 18 hours of sunlight, right? And then I remember one time I was in London and um, I woke up from my hotel room and I'm like, damn, it's still dark outside. Am I just jet lagged? I just wake up at the wrong time. I look at my watch and it said 10 a.m. And I'm like, what the hell? Is 10 a.m. It's completely dark? Look, I better get up and get breakfast. I get up, get breakfast, go out into the street. The sun starts coming up. I'm like, oh, this feels good. And then I'm hanging out. And then 3 p.m. The sun starts to set. I'm like, what the hell? This is crazy. No wonder everyone loves California so much because the weather is just so good. And I can already hear Taika going nuts. What the heck is going on? I gotta go see what is happening. Let me see. I hear you, mister. You crazy guy. Every time you see his one-legged dance, do the one-legged dance, mama. That means he's in a happy mood. <laughs> yeah, good job. You're a cutie. You show me something? What is it? Oh Wait, my goodness. This is my favorite one. He does. <laughs> the cutie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? You got tools? Yeah. But you already had these, huh? Or yeah. oh, you just brought them out this time? Oh, they're both flatheads? Do do. It's the flatheads? Well, oh, I don't know what this one's called. You need a real man, Dad, to explain what that is. Good call, babe. There you go. Get out of here. Get no yeah. girls allowed. Don't do it, Daddy. Hey, I'm a woman. <laughs> no woman's allowed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. Like who? Jigsaw. Oh, really? Because of the tricycle? And how little he Oh, that's kind of scary. I don't know. But the little, like the little red circles. Yeah, wait. Look, he's coming. Look, look, look. <laughs> I love that we have the space for him to ride a tricycle inside the house. This guy's crazy. Where are you, mister? Honestly, I'm so glad we got such a big house because this guy has so much energy. I don't know how we would contain him in, a, in like a smaller house because he has to let it all out. The minute this guy wakes up, he's nonstop like this. So unless we literally let him run in front of the house on the street, I don't know how we're going to work out all this energy. Look at those jiggly. That's a big energy right there. <clears throat> jiggly hips. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell Oh, I was eating the acai bowl and it had sunflower seeds. And you know, sometimes if you don't chew the nuts all the way through, it gets kind of flaky. Uh. Mm. What are you doing now, dude? <laughs> what, what, what plans do you have? What kind of plans do you have, mister? You gonna ride with your blankie? You're a silly goose. I love you so much. Where are you going now? Hmm? The other park. Hmm? You're going to the park? Yeah. No, you're not. Okay. One handed riding. You're going to the park? Yeah, it's right in the house. Are you even watching where you're going, dude? Oh. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> Tyke is so cute. Tonight was the first night that he tried putting his own toys away without me telling him. <laughs> he just stuffed everything into his box. And then he was putting away all the clothes that he saw all over the uh, couch. <laughs> so he just put it all on the, the um, like our entertainment center. So he put his clothes, my clothes, his towel. This guy's so cute. I love this guy. And now we're getting ready to put him to bed. So you can hear his voice. You dropped it. 
I didn't drop it. You dropped it. Look, look. Open it. Let's see. You see? You dropped it. What you drop in there? We're blaming each other for something. Else. Why you do that? Why you do that to me? <laughs> That's what he always says. Why you do that to me? Hey, Taika. Why you do that to me? Um, as I didn't like. Wow. Wow. What do you do? Oh, Kenny. It's a little store. Good job. Look at your little store, dude. Dad. Why you do that to them? I do it, Dad. Look, <gasps> More space PJs. I do you don't want space PJs? You love space PJs. Come here, dude. My baby. My baby. Tell everybody good night. Say, everyone have a great day. Good day. Good night. And say, have an awesome, beautiful week. <laughs> and say, up to say, I love you guys. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> good night. Come here, baby. Bye.